The whole spacing, it's really cool because we have, uh, every teacher tried to get these uh, like space posters. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not in science or even math for that matter, uh, we're, we're trying to incorporate it in everything and kind of make it visual and talk about it with the kids. So we have the astronauts posters all up in the hallways for Ohio. We have maps, we have information on the walls, and then we're kind of doing an ongoing theme everywhere. I mean, getting ready uh, at the beginning of this school year is crazy anyways, um, but it, it adds a little fun and excitement and expectation is a great word for that uh, to uh, for the kids. It's really exciting. It's nice to have kind of a unifying theme between all the different grade levels and all the different teachers because we have kids ranging from kids who've never come to school before to our fifth graders who have all kinds of experience and, and so it's kind of something that's brought the building together even in our different halls and pods and things like that. It's, it's so big, it's so unknown um, and, it, and it's so cool. It's, it's one of those things that's easy to talk about, um, uh, easy to get excited about. They're pretty excited. I haven't tried to overload too much since we do have that in our science unit this year um, that we're going to kind of do in winter. But we have a lot of really exciting activities and a lot of it is cross-curricular, which is the great thing. We can mix so much of it with the math and with the um, social studies and with the reading standards. So it's something that, even though it's science, you can really branch out. Even we, we took that picture today and walking back in, loads of questions from my fifth graders. What's a space station? What do they do there? Uh, Will we be able to see it from Earth? So all of these awesome questions that um, are, we're having these little mini lessons in the hallways. So it was, it was really cool.